Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be talking about removing a node at a certain position within our doubly linked list. All right, so from here, you can see we have our doubly linked list. And all that's different that you might notice is that now we have positions. So this is position one, two, three, and four. Now from here, there are several test cases that we should consider. So let's go over case one, whether or not we're getting a valid position. So let's say I call the remove at method and the position is zero, for example. Well, zero is less than one and one is our starting position. So anything less than one would be considered an invalid position. In that case, all I'm gonna do, if it's less than one, is just return. Another example of an invalid position is let's say I say remove at position five. Well, five doesn't exist because four is our last node. And in order to check that, we could just say if the position is greater than the size, because size keeps track of the amount of nodes that are within our list, then that means that is also an invalid position and all we're gonna do is return. So now let's take a look at case two. What happens if we wanna remove the first node? Well, we could check to see if position is equal to one. If position is equal to one, we could just call our remove first method. And our remove first method is gonna automatically remove this node and update the header to the new first node. Likewise, we could do the same if we were to remove the last node. So how do we know if we wanna remove the last node? Well, we could check to see if position is equal to the size. So if the position is equal to the size, that means I wanna remove the last node. And we already know how to remove the last node, so I'm just gonna call the remove last method. And that's gonna make sure that this node gets deleted and that tail gets updated to the new last node. All right, so from here, let's move on to the last case. What happens if I wanna remove a position that's greater than one, but also less than the size? So position two or three, for example. And in this case, I'm gonna go with position three. So I wanna remove the third node from our doubly linked list. So how would I go about doing this? Well, the first thing I need to do is create a pointer that points to what header is pointing to. And this is gonna be a temporary pointer that we're gonna to use to iterate throughout our doubly linked list until we reach to position three. All right, so for our loop, we're gonna start at position one. We're gonna be using a for loop. And all the loop is gonna be responsible for is to keep advancing our current pointer until we reach position three. So let's see what happens when we enter the loop. So the loop executes, current is gonna be advanced, the current arrow next. That would get us here. Then execute the loop again. Current is gonna be advanced, the current, arrow next, and that would get us to here. So now that we reach this point, it's gonna kick us out of the loop because we already reached position three. So now let's think of this logically. I want two to point to four, and I want four to point to two. So who has all those pointers? Well, position three has that, right? Position three has a pointer to four, and position three also has a pointer to two. So now what I wanna do, so let's break this down. I want two to point to four. So let's do that part first. So how would I get to two? Well, in order to get to two, I need to say current arrow puev, right? And that would give me this pointer here, which is pointing to two. So that would get me here. Now from here, I could say arrow next to access the next pointer for two. So just to recap, I could say current arrow puev, arrow next would give me here. Now, what do I want next to point to? I want next to point to four. So who has a pointer to four? Current arrow next points to four. So now I could just say current arrow puev, arrow next points to current arrow next. Now that would give me something like this. So now I have to find a way to make four point to two. So who has access 
to the previous pointer of four. Well, from here, I could say current arrow next, which will get me here. Then I could say arrow puev, which will get me this pointer. And I want to make this pointer point to two. Now, who has a pointer to two? Well, current arrow puev will get me to two. So I could just say current arrow next arrow puev is going to point to current arrow puev. So now I should get something like this. So you can see that our linked list is maintained. All the nodes have a pointer to the next node and to the previous node. Now what we need to do is delete whatever current is pointing to. And the last step from here, since we successfully deleted the node, decrement the size. All right, so from here, let's actually take a look at how we can implement this with code. All right, so we have our remove at method here. It's not returning anything, so it's void. And we're passing in the position of the node that we want to delete as a parameter. So let's take a look at case one. Check if the position is a valid position. So for example, we start at position one. So any position that is less than one is not a valid position. Likewise, if the position being passed in is greater than the size. And the reason for that being is that if you try to delete at a position that's greater than size, that position simply doesn't exist because that's greater than the number of nodes within our list. Now from here, we're just going to return. And that's because the position provided cannot be deleted because it doesn't exist. All right, so now let's move on to case two. Check if the position is the first node. So how would we go about doing this? Well, it's pretty simple. We could check if the position being passed in is equal to one. That effectively means that I want to remove the first node within our list. So I'm just going to come down here. Just going to say else if. The position is equal to one and we're just going to call the remove first method and this is going to get rid of the first node within our linked list likewise if we move on to case three check if the position is the last node so how do i know whether or not the position being passed in is the last node or not well if i come down here and say else if the position is equal to size because size is always the number of nodes within our list. So it's always gonna be equal to the last node. Now from here, what I can do is call remove last method. And this of course is gonna remove the last node within our list. All right, so now let's move on to case four. Check if the position is between first and the last node. Now I can use an else statement because we have exhausted all other possibilities, but just to double check, I'm just gonna say else if the header does not equal to null. And that's just to make sure that the list is not empty. All right, so the first step is to create a temporary pointer that's gonna point to what header is pointing to. And that's because we have to traverse the list until we hit the position of the node that we want to delete. Next, we're going to create a loop. So I'm just going to create a for loop. I'm going to say int i is going to be initialized to one. And we're going to keep going until i is less than position. And from here, all we're gonna do is keep advancing to the next node until this condition is no longer true. All right, so now that we reach the node that we wanna delete, we need to take advantage that we have a pointer to that node and that node has a pointer to the next node and to the previous node. So we need to link those two nodes together before we actually delete what current is pointing to. All right, so from here, current 
is going to be pointing to the node that we want to delete. But we just can't outright delete it. And that's because it would destroy our linked list. So what we need to do before we delete it is save the previous node from current. So the node that comes before current has to point to the node that comes after current. So how would I go about doing this? Okay, so let's break this down. I need to get to the previous node before current. So how would I go about doing that? Current arrow prev will get me to the previous node before current. Now I need this node to point to the node after current. So now I need to access this node's next pointer. And this pointer is going to point to the node after current. So how do I get the node after current? Well, I just say current arrow next. That will give me the node after current. Now I need to do the same thing, but kind of in reverse. Now I need the node after current to point to the node before current. So first thing I need to do is get the node after current. And we already saw that here. So I'm just going to come down here. Current arrow next gives me the node after current. Now I need to access the previous pointer and make this point to the node that's before the current node. So how do I do that? Well, I could just come down here and say current arrow prev. So that would effectively save my linked list. Now I could delete current. So I'm just going to do that right now. Delete current. And since we successfully delete the node from the list, decrement the size. So I'm just going to save this. Let's go down to our main method. And I'm just going to change this to remove at. And I want to remove at position two. So two should not be in our list once we print it out. So now I'm just going to save this. Let's bring up the console. I'm going to go to my program. And let's actually run this. And you can see we get the output of one and three. And that's because we appended one, two, three, and we wanted to remove at position two. So two was at position two and it was successfully deleted. So that pretty much wraps it up for our remove at method for our doubly linked list.